understand that real assets. So the thing about it is the reason that most people find it hard to get ahead, the reason that most people are struggling and aren't able to build wealth and aren't able to have a, a decent quality of lifestyle, right? It's because of lack of financial education. Really, that's what it comes down to. It comes down to financial literacy. There are things that we weren't taught in school. There are things that the wealthy teach their children that they pass down that was not taught to the average person, right? I know when I got out of high school, I didn't know the difference between an asset and a liability. I didn't know the difference between earned income, passive income, residual income. I didn't know the difference between compound interest and simple interest. These things, financial things that we should have known coming out of school because we have to deal with it. I didn't know the difference between rich and wealthy. I didn't know the difference between money and currency, all right? And because of what we didn't know, it hurt us, right? Well, I'm fired up and excited because we now got the answers, the information, the opportunity, and the system to capitalize off this newfound information that we should have been taught a long time ago that many wealthy, many uh, banks and, and, and governments already know, right? But the media and society and governments have trained us not to know and understand what real money is and what you don't know can hurt you, right? And if you knew better, you would do better. I'm excited because now not only do we know better, but we're going to do better. But I want to show you just how bad, if you don't know how much it can cost you, I'm going to play a short video to demonstrate that. Keep clicking on that. And right there. <laughs> It's your lucky day today. You win a free 10 ounce silver bar, pure silver bullion, or a free Hershey's king sized chocolate bar. You'll take the chocolate bar. Who needs a 10 ounce bar of silver? Oh. Have a good day. Would you rather have the Hershey bar than the silver bar? Yes, I would. Oh, you would. Okay. Yeah, Hershey bar. You, 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 you can eat the silver bar. Yeah, that's right. You can't eat the silver. What are you going to do with a 10 ounce bar of silver, right? <laughs> you know? Hello. Having a special today on one ounce gold coin. It's a $50 Canadian maple leaf solid one ounce gold coin uh, offering it today for half price, $25. No, thanks. Why, why wouldn't you be interested? I don't need any gold coins. Don't need any for $25? No. Nope. I need to pay my taxes, so I'm selling my one ounce gold coin. <laughs> yeah. Would you be interested? Uh, Just name a price, any price, and it's yours. <laughs> nah, no, I'm good. We can go to Liberty coin and precious metals and verify it's, it's a real one ounce coin. Why would I want that gold coin? I don't know. I mean, who needs a gold coin these days, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> trying to raise some money, trying to raise some cash. So I'm going to sell my one ounce gold coin. Just wondered if you'd be interested in it. No, no. Why not? Yeah, just uh, not something I need. Deal. It's like 20, 20 bucks that you can have it. Well, I'm fine. You can go into the coin shop right here. You can verify that it's authentic and, and probably even sell it to them. For cash, no. Not interested, man. Too many gold coins laying around at home? Possibly, yeah. yeah. All right, well, the deal's off. And um, what if I were to tell you that you could have taken me up on this offer, mm -hmm. went in there and walked out with over $1,500 cash in your hand? I feel like a loser then. <sighs> Today's not your day, buddy. Yeah. Sorry. Well, now you know. I don't know. I just want to sell my one ounce gold coin. Alright, we got so one ounce American Eagle, Gold Eagle. Alright. How much is that worth today? Let's see if we can do today. How about sixteen thirty-four or seven? And that's sixteen hundred dollars. Do you mind cash or a check? Oh, cash, please. Okay. Now, see, I told you what you don't know can hurt you. It can cost you. And we weren't taught about money. 
Because every time I, I swear, every time I watch that video, I see something different every single time, right? I mean, it's only so much we could take from that video. It's pretty straightforward. But you had a guy, he said, why would I want that gold coin? But if he was offering, hey, I got $1,600 in my hand, would you like it? He wouldn't say, why would I want $1,600? But because he didn't know, he didn't understand that gold is money that he could have easily liquidated in a matter of seconds and without having to even show ID that he could have got $1,600. It was the same thing, just a one little step in between, right? And so what we don't know can hurt us because I feel like 100% sure if he's standing on the corner saying, here's $100 or a chocolate bar, which one are you going to take? If he's standing on the corner saying, here's $1,600 or a chocolate bar, which one are you going to take? They're going to take the cash every single time. But because they didn't understand what real money is and that that gold and silver, you know, you can liquidate it for cash, right? They didn't understand that. But what they didn't know hurt them, right? And so, you know, give you another example of what most people don't know about silver, and I'm going to show you gold as well. But just to give you an idea in regards to what should you hold? Should you hold gold? Or should you hold Cyril? Because in that video, you saw he sold that one ounce gold coin like I have here. He sold it for about $1,600. Today, this one ounce gold coin is about $1,900. Back 50 years ago, this one ounce gold coin was $35. When you're talking about saving and you're talking about building wealth and, and securing your financial future and having an asset, something that appreciates over time, right? And the purchasing power of it, this is why you want to save your money in silver and you don't save in cash. In 1965, one ounce of silver or a dollar bill would have got you a gallon of milk. So it's safe to say they had the same purchasing power. One in one, right? Would have got you a gallon of milk. But fast forward to 2019, right? Present day, whatever you might as well say, that one ounce of silver, because it has uh, held its purchasing power, right, which means it increased because the dollar decreased in purchasing power, you can now get over five gallons of milk for that same one ounce silver. So one ounce silver got you one gallon of milk in 65, but one ounce silver now gets you five. That's a deal. That makes sense. I'm going to save in silver all day, but that dollar bill that used to get you one gallon of milk, you can't even get a half a gallon for a dollar, okay, right? To get five, let alone five gallons, what that silver would get you, you now need over twenty dollars to get that same amount that that silver would get you today. Even though at one point in time they had the same purchasing power. Another example: a movie ticket. Same thing. The purchasing power of the dollar and the ounce of silver were the same. But fast forward to today, because of the loss in purchasing power of the dollar, because silver holds its value and increases over time. That one ounce of silver can get you over two movie tickets today. But that $1 bill is not even going to get you one movie ticket today. Right? You now need more dollars mm. to get the same thing that you could have got yesterday. You know, and 10 years ago, 30 years ago. Right? And so some people find it harder and harder not realizing that's why you're having a hard time getting ahead. Because you don't understand the difference between currency and money and how to save in real assets. So here's another example, 2,500 ounces of silver or $2,500, right? Remember I told you it had the equal buying power, $2,500, 2,500 ounces of silver. In 1965, they would have bought you a brand new Ford Mustang, all right? So you go to dealership, put 2,500 ounces of silver on the, on the table, boom, new car. Put $2,500 on the table, new car. Fast forward to the day. What happens to that silver? Today, that silver will get you two brand new Ford Mustangs, pretty much, right? The value of that has increased. It kept pace with the cost of living, the cost of goods and services. That's what the silver is going to do. But what about that dollar? You know for a fact you're not going to get a brand new car for $2,500. So why is it in 1965 you could have, but today you can't? We're going to talk about that. Let's see about gold, right? Because some people love gold. I'm bullish on silver. I'm going to tell you right now, silver is the most undervalued asset on the planet. As far as gains, silver is where you want to be at. 
but I saved silver and gold. But let's say you got gold, and in 1965, they put ten thousand dollars in in a house, or you put ten thousand dollars in gold. Which one do you think would have performed better? Well, in two in 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 2019, might as well say today, based on the housing inflation rate, right? That ten thousand dollars worth about eighty five thousand dollars, right? But if you would have put that in gold today, that's over a half a million dollars. Don't you understand that? That's 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 how you really secure your financial future, saving in assets, right? Because on top of that, the reason it's over a half a million dollars because trust and believe your dollar has declined over that time. I just showed you in the previous slide how the dollar lost 98% of its purchasing power, right? So it feels like you made money, but really you didn't, right? But so now, what I talked about earlier, just that alone, that was very simple, right? But why are most people struggling today? I talked about it, financial literacy, right? Financial education, knowing the difference between currency and money, knowing the difference between inflation and deflation, right? I mean, why do we, you know, why do people find it that they're finding themselves working harder and harder and getting less? You know, big banks and corporations on Wall Street, they're continuing to reap profits. The billionaires are getting richer and richer. They're holding more gold and silver than they ever have in any point in time in history. Why do they keep getting wealthy? It's because they know things that they kept away from the average person. Well, now we got access. Now we got access, right? And now we can make sure that if we didn't come from a wealthy family, that a wealthy family can come from us. So here's the problem. Here's what we didn't know. Here's what people didn't understand. And here's why you want to save your money in gold and silver, right? In 1913, the Federal Reserve, which is a private banking cartel, private central bank, they were set up in this country. And that means that the country, the people, they have to pay the, the Federal Reserve back the notes, the debt, the dollar, and then they have to pay interest on top of that. Well, what happens is the government has, you know, a uh, uh, foreign agenda, domestic agenda, and run deficits. They're printing for public programs and infrastructures and works. And you vote for these politicians and they say, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. Well, where's the money coming from? Well, what happens is the government just print money. They print the paper, which is not money, it's the gold and silver because the dollar was backed by gold. The, you, for every dollar, there was some gold to secure it, right? To guarantee its value, right? But what happened is the government printed more paper than they had gold to fund wars and all kinds of things. And in 1971, the, from the countries around the world demanding the gold because they no longer wanted the paper because they realized the government was printing too much paper, Nixon had to close the gold window because we went from 20,000 tons of gold to about 8,000 tons, and they said no more. So what happened was the United States dollar now became a fiat currency, just means it has value because the government says so. And as we can see in the graph there, the dollar has lost over 98% of its purchasing power. It's worth about five cents, right? The wealthy know this already. That's why they have assets. That's why they make sure they're gaining enough interest on their money to outpace the decline in the purchasing power of their currency. That's why they preserve their wealth in real assets like precious artwork, exclusive real estate, gold, silver. You know, these are the assets that the wealthy preserve their wealth in. But they kept this knowledge and understanding, which is very simple, away from the masses. They didn't teach us this in school. But let's say you had a, uh, your family in 1913 left you a million dollar policy. And today, you would inherit that million dollar policy. Today, the purchasing power of it is only about forty or fifty thousand. Why is that? You would think a million dollars today is a million dollars in 13, 1913. No, it's not. Because a million dollars in 1913 will purchase you way more than what you can buy for a million dollars today. Right? And so, the beautiful thing about what we have for you tonight is that 7K, this company, this opportunity, this system, allows you to transfer those dollars into real assets and create a residual income through this platform. This is what the wealthy have been doing. They use systems of leverage to secure and build wealth, generational wealth. And now we have access to do the same thing. So all of the questions, all the concerns uh, that the average person would have when coming to realization of these facts that you have just been brought to, these are questions they have, you know. Where should I go to get gold and silver now that I know this? How should I buy it? Where should I buy it? Who do I trust? Should I, what amount should I get? What quality? What quantity? Right? 
Well, this is why you came to the right place. Because the owners of this company put a membership together and they solved all of those problems for you, giving you the best value when you're purchasing and acquiring precious metals and learning about what we should have known coming out of high school. So here's some information on this company, right? Because some people are going to say, well, I need to do my research. Everybody say they got to do their research and their research consists of Google. I don't know anybody who says, I got to do my research. I'm calling up the state and I'm calling up. <laughs> no, but I'm going to tell you something. Who has done the research? The Better Business Bureau. The Better Business Bureau has rated this company with an A+. So that means they had to check them out. They, they had to verify some things. There was a process. There was some type of vetting that went down. And after that process, they said, this company gets an A+. Plus. Okay? There's your research. But on top of that, we got the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation. It's an authorized dealer. This is a major, number one, uh, 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 author, uh, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation. Number one, new, uh, grade of coins, right? And they're not going to stamp this company and associate themselves with this company unless they have checked out this company, unless they verified and vetted this company. So I'm telling you, the research has been done. So the vaults that they have with the gold and silver fully insured by Lloyds of London, right? So someone, will, well, what happens if this happens? And what happens if, that's why we have insurance. So all your what ifs, they can go out the window because Lloyds of London is the largest marketplace, okay? As some people know, or insurance company. Another thing, the co-founder is a multi-billionaire. Okay, the company is deep in pockets, okay? And in fact, so the, the owner, Roger Ball, who's a multi-billionaire, started another company called Malaluka. And this company is still in existence today, which I'm, I don't know anybody that said they didn't like Malaluka. Honestly, I, I, I just heard about Malaluka, but they say, I love the products. Okay, and Malaluka is still around today doing about $3 billion in sales a year. So you're coming from uh, 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 owners who know how to build up a successfully thriving business, right? And then on top of that, this is a zero debt company. Well, how do I know if the company is solvent? How do I know they're not in debt? Well, the company is self-funded. I told you one of the owners is a multi-billion. This is a self-funded company, folks. You see, so when you're evaluating something, your risk versus your rewards, you know, uh, uh, you know the, the, the ups and downs, the pros and cons, I'm telling you, it's number upside here, right? Now, they've been in business for over four years. Just built a brand new home office in Idaho. Okay, we'll be going to Idaho in about a week or so. Very excited, folks. Hey, who's coming with me to Idaho? I need, I need to know. I didn't ask this question. Who on the runners is coming to Idaho with us? I need to know who's going to be there. I didn't even find that out. I need to know who's coming to Idaho with us, man. It's going to be a blast, right? But anyway, they ship the gold and silver via FedEx, okay? So you're going to get it within a week. I love that. I'm telling you, people sign up. They get their membership. They don't auto-save. Couple of days go by, they already got their asset. They fired up. They say, "Man, that was quick, right?" Gotta love that. And then this company is using top-notch security for your data, your privacy, secrecy, all those things. Using the Plaid network, very similar to what the banks, what the banks use, and Venmo as well, right? So, just a little bit about the the owners. Like, obviously, this is a fantastic opportunity, fantastic company. It all makes sense, you know. But why they put this together? Here's what the founder said: Why they created 7K Metals. They said, we created 7K because we generally want to improve the lives of people around the world. We have watched too many of our friends struggle as the economy fluctuates, employment issues arise, or unexpected change come up in life. Using the power of gold and silver, we believe we can provide a way for people to create financial independence, preserve their wealth, and live an exceptional life. We started this company because we believe in you. I love it. I love it because what you do is there's a problem, and if you can provide a solution, right, all you need is for the people to believe in themselves to make a sound decision based on the information that they had. And if they do that, they're positioning themselves for financial security, for real wealth. All right. This is where it gets exciting because we all know the problems of this economy. We all know the struggles that are going on in our homes and in our neighbors' homes and our friends and family and loved ones. Homes. We know the problem. And really, we'll say lack of money, but it's not really lack of money. It's lack of financial literacy. Because the problem is, or, or not even a problem, most people have some kind of money. They work a job, right? They just don't know how to save properly. They're not disciplined. They don't understand the information that you've been taught. Because I'm going to tell you about this $1.2 million mistake. And I don't care if you're working at McDonald's. If you 
save your money, you're going to put yourself in a position that your later years will be better than your earlier years, right? And so a lot of time you got to think long term. But this is what gets exciting because the owners are doing this with the power of gold and silver. Guaranteed as a gold and silver have been around since ancient Egypt. They, they survived wars, pandemics, plagues, uh, regime changes. I mean, everything under the sun, right? Gold and silver will have value all around the world, no matter what country you're in. Gold and silver, right? And so this is the system that they decided to use to build wealth and secure people's financial future, right? And so here's a little bit of education in regards to you know, gold and silver, and, but silver in this particular example here, there are different types. The reason you want to know this is because there are a lot of other companies you know, saying they got gold or silver or you know, selling gold or silver. So what separates us? What separates us from somebody else? Just on the, on the asset class, right? Well, you got junk silver, right, which is the lowest class, and you have bullion, which is, which is most companies have. Most companies have regular bullion, folks, all right? Now, there's next level up is government struck bullion, okay? You know, the walking liberties, Canadian maple leaves, love my Canadian maple leaves, the pandas, I love my Chinese pandas, right? And then you got proofs, right? Proofs are of a lower mintage, they're more rare, they go through a process, make them more attractive, and they usually have a certificate with them. So they're a little more valuable. It's, it's the next level up in the asset class, right? And then you have the highest level of them all. This is what separates, one of the things that separates 7K from everybody else exclusively specializing and dealing in with numismatic coins, the highest asset class of gold and silver. When you want to do with the top, you want the top, right? You want top shelf? This is top shelf. This is very rare coins, okay? Low in mintage, all right? Not a lot of them made, okay? And then you have them being graded by what's called a numismatist. They grade these coins. They inspect them, and they grade them under five times magnification. And based on that grading, they're rated on a, on a scale of 1 through 70, 70 being flawless, perfect, never touched, and 1 being, you know, trash, throwing a toolbox and shaking around or something, right? Well, we're dealing with flawless, untouched pieces of artwork. Same way I talked about the wealthy, preserving their wealth and artwork, this is the same type of wealth component we have with these numismatic coins. And over time, the value of them go up because of their story, because of what's on the coin because of the perfectness of the coin, because of the low mintage that supply and demand factor takes place. So you're dealing with the highest asset class of gold and silver and building wealth with these numismatic coins. That's very exciting because also that puts you in a niche market. Not only is 7K not a saturated name, but our product, most people have never heard of numismatic. I told you you're entering the big leagues. This is what the wealthy deal with folks. You're now getting access to this, to this membership, to this club, right? You can access the run with the runners too. This is exciting. So now, just to give you an idea of these coins, I talked about these numismatic coins. Well, what have they done? Well, I can tell you the highest coin that I know sold for about $10 million. It was a one ounce coin. One ounce coin sold about $10 million. But here in this example, you can see the 1999 MS70 Silver Eagle. Silver Eagle, right? One ounce but it's a numismatic coin of a particular year. And it's an MS-70. Remember I told you a Met State, flawless, 70s, flawless, perfect, never in touch. Well, that coin sent up over $11,000. We got a Black Panther coin down there. They probably paid a couple hundred dollars for that. Same thing. It's a numismatic coin. MS, it's, that one's PF-70. It's even higher, right? Proof, ultra cameo, all right? Sort of like that Donald Trump coin I showed you. You, you see, now you got Black Panther, and then you got a Donald Trump coin. That Black Panther coin sell up for 2200 What you think this is going to do? Not to mention this sign. I'm, I'm getting excited, folks. Let me stick to that. Oh, I'm telling you, this is very exciting when, you, when you're talking about something real, and you know the value of it, and you just hope that people can grasp the information that you're sharing. So now, these coins obviously have a lot of potential to increase in value, but they're also the asset behind it, which is gold and silver, right? So <clears throat> dealing with 7K in this membership, all right, that they offer, you're getting exclusive. You see, when, you, when you're putting yourself in business or, or when, you're, when, you're, when you're opening up the world to something, right, you don't want to do soap, right? There's a lot of different soap. There's Dove. There's Irish Spring. Now you're competing with the soap market. I'm sure there's, you know, you could probably produce something in there. Same thing with lotion and potions and everything else. This market right here, we're dealing with exclusive 
numismatic coins. And on top of that, we have some of the coins that the number one numismatist in the world is actually grading and designing some of our coins. And this particular coin is his design. His name is Mal Standish. The 7K members, because of the exclusivity of this membership, this club, this group, this access that we have that nobody else has. I hope you understand the magnitude of, uh, of benefits, exclusiveness, membership, right? This coin was for about $200. The 7K members got it for about uh, a year ago. That coin now selling for over $800. What do you think happens over time? I already showed you what the dollar does over time. I already showed you what gold and silver as purchasing power does on the, over time. Now we're talking about very rare exclusive numismatic assets that have been done by this uh, amazing man right here. We call him the Michael Jordan of the coin grading industry, Mr. Miles Standish, right? A prominent numismat. This is the number one guy, folks. When you're in this particular industry, I don't care what industry you're in, soap industry, uh, healthcare product industry, you want to deal with the best. You want to deal with the top of the top. You want to deal with people who are known. Well, this is the uh, vice president, was the vice president of NGC, all right? This man has graded over 10 million coins, all right? If you're in numismatic coins, the people know his name. He's number one guy. Well, he's got an exclusive agreement with us to create and design and grade our coins. And guess who's going to get those coins first? You bet it. You bet it. Me and you and all the runners and all the 7K members out there get access to these, these coins, right? Very exciting, folks. Very exciting. You're talking about something real. Not a hope. We already have a track record. Now it's just a matter of making sure you're in position, right? And so <clears throat> how to get started, man? I mean, all that was phenomenal. Some people probably saying, look, sign me up, brother. I'm just fired up because of your excitement. You, you, this thing is genuine right here, right? I mean, you showed me the gold. You showed me the silver. You gave me the numbers. Some people just need to see numbers. Well, how you get started is it's a membership, right? Remember I told you about the membership. And it's an annual membership, so one time for the year. And it's only $199 for the basic or, or standard membership. We got two membership options. $199, okay? And this $199 membership covers you for a year. Like I said, it's annual. It's going to come with a, a coin as well. So you're going to get an asset with it, all right? Um, a, a gem uncirculated coin. Uh, what, that coin you see there is one of the coins that came with the standard membership. Uh, this membership is actually valued over $400. So, you know, one thing I wasn't taught about in school was price versus value either. Right. And when you look at the price of this membership and you realize the value of it pales in comparison. Right. But also you get technology credit. So if you're a business builder, you're somebody who um, plans on being able to make money with this opportunity. They got an extra feature inside your own back office where it's going to help you navigate and explore your business. That's ten dollars a month. But with the standard membership, the first three months are free. And then every single month after that is ten dollars. All right. Now, for the serious people, for those who like. Man, this is, this is, they, they can see the value in it, right? They want to get the premium membership, right? Premium membership covers you for a year. It's $4.99, right? And the value of it is actually over $1,100. But you're actually going to get a MS70 coin in that membership, right? So you're going to get assets with it. And not only that, you're going to get a silver bullion coin as well. That coin you see on the screen there is has is coming with uh, 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 the membership. It's, it's come with some memberships. They might change it up. But that coin is over $200, and it's coming in the membership, right? So you're going to get an asset with it. And then remember I talked about that uh, website uh, in your back office to explore your business? You're covered for the year. That's free. That you That's covered in your membership. So you don't have to worry about paying that $10 website fee. And, of course, you're going to get some other great things in that package to build your business. Most people I talk to, they get the $4.99 membership. It's one time for the year. You're going to get a high-valued asset for it, and you just get more for more value, right? I'm about value. So here is somebody uh, that, you know, um, just is phenomenal because here's a person who knows what he's talking about. You see, when you, when you want to deal with people, you want to deal with people who know what they're talking about. Well, we got a brother in our team by the name of Mark Pius. He's fired up about this opportunity. Um, he's a tax professional. He's, you know, been doing taxes for over 29 years. And he put a post on Facebook about this opportunity. He said, name one network marketing company where you purchase a $500 tax deductible business package. Now, what he's talking about is that $499 membership that I talked about. $499 membership, you read it. It's a tax write-off, right? So you got a choice. You could pay that $500 in taxes, or you could pay that $500 and go ahead and get you a 7 k membership. That's an easy choice. 
Or unless you're going to be that person who take the chocolate bar and not the gold coin, right? That's what it, that's what it comes down to. So it's a tax write-off. And then it puts you in position to make up to $12,500 a week. So in this compensation plan, you've got a home-based business where you can make about $50,000 a month, right? Doing what? Getting exclusive access to rare numismatic coins and building wealth in gold and silver and preserving your purchasing power? Yes. Sharing that with others. That's exciting, folks. That's exciting. This, is, ain't, no, this ain't no lotion, potion, pill. This ain't going to expire. It's not going to sit in your garage, right? It's not going to lose value. No, it increases in value the longer you have it. You don't lose, right? And then he goes on to say that one of the two assets you receive in this package is selling for $235, and you haven't even finished unpacking your million-dollar business kit, right? And then I mentioned that there are only 2,500 of these silver assets with this high grade. You're getting exclusive access to something that's very rare, but it's on money, and it has, it has a precious artwork value tied to it. So dynamic, so dynamic, right? So obviously, I'm not a tax advisor. Consult your tax professional, right? But this is a home-based business where you will be able to keep some of your money and turn it into assets and write that off. Write that off, right? Write that off because you got a business, you got a business where your, where your product is money. And the more that you get in, that's a write-off because you needed something for your business to show people. <laughs> oh, man, it just, gets, it, just, it just gets so lovely. So, look, remember I talked about the information where, um, you know, what we don't know, don't know, right? And, and what you don't know can hurt you, right? But if you knew better, you would do better. Well, there's a $1.2 million mistake that all of us have been making, Right. And, and we want to make you aware of that one point two million dollar mistake so you don't make it again. That's why I said it doesn't really matter where you are, you know, because if, if a teenager or somebody coming out of high school knew this in their early 20s and, and they was a forward thinking person and they wanted to make sure that when they're in their 50s and their 60s, that they're good. And the easiest way to do that would, would be to save their money. But you obviously don't save it in cash because of what we just showed you. You save it in assets like gold and silver. Let me show you this $1.2 million mistake, and we're going to talk about it. The $1.2 million mistake. Let's begin by taking a look at this chart that shows the purchasing power of the U.S. dollar from 1913 to 2013. In 1913, the purchasing power of the dollar was worth a dollar. In 2013, it was worth five cents. We have seen the dollar and all world currencies lose value over time. Some of this is due to inflation. But most of this is because of a change that occurred in 1971. In 1971, the U.S. president ended the Bretton Woods Agreement, which cut all ties to currencies being backed by gold. All at once, all world currencies became a fiat currency, meaning they are simply backed by what the government says they're worth. Take this scenario, for example. Let's say you wanted to purchase a brand new Ford Mustang in 1965. It would have cost you roughly $2,500 or 2,500 silver coins. Today, that same $2,500 won't get you the car. But the same 2,500 silver coins could buy you two cars. As you can see here, while the U.S. dollar has lost its value over time, gold and silver has maintained its purchasing power. So what would have happened if you knew this was going to occur and started purchasing silver? Let me show you. It begins with the MS-70 Silver Eagle. MS stands for Mint State. It's a grading system. And an MS-70 means the coin is in its perfect condition. If you purchased one of these coins every single month since 1986, you would be sitting on a $1.2 million portfolio. And get this, that $1.2 million would have only cost you about $50,000. That's the $1.2 million mistake. All right, if you grasp that, you should be jumping around the room right now. That's like, you know, people want to hit the lottery, right? And, 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 and people like instant gratification, and they think there's some shortcuts to building wealth. No, anybody who's really built wealth, they didn't just fall in their lap. It, it doesn't work like that. It, it, it's, it was passed down generally, and, it, and it was passed down because somebody 
worked hard and they 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 did certain things and and over a period of time it produced results for them right and this is so exciting because now you know for sure with this information you ain't gonna make that 1.2 million dollar mistake you know that's a that is a fact saving one ounce of silver ms70 coins over a period of time that would have cost you about forty to fifty thousand dollars right but yet the portfolio value of that is over $1.2 million. Talk about financial security. Knowing that, hey, I just get one of these coins every single month, right? Every single month, I'm gonna secure my financial future. So what this company did is they wanted to make sure that you didn't make that mistake. They wanted to make it easier for you and I to build wealth. Because remember, you remember the mission statement, I, I just read it. They know about the problems and they know about the solution. And this is one of the ways that they're providing that solution, just saving your money every single month in these assets. So automatic, you can have it come out your account. You got a Netflix, you got a phone bill, you got all kinds of expenses coming out your account. It's now time to make sure you got some assets coming into your account, right? Turning that paper into an asset that comes into your account that secures your financial future, right? And your family. So every single month, you can have $105, uh, in your uh, in your auto save program, which is the basic option, and they'll send you that MS70 Silver Eagle, so you don't make that 1.2 million dollars that they can have an asset. If you're a person who likes a little variety, then you want to choose a 139 dollar option, and you're going to get a different coin sent to your house every month, and it's probably going to be of a lower mintage, has a different design on there, something pretty cool like this Iron Man one, right? Coming to your home, and then of course you have the option for the person who wants gold or ultra rare coin, like this one is actually the ultra rare right here it's a little alligator one i mean it's, it's a beautiful piece right or you'll get a gold coin come to your home via fedex for that 309 option but the ability to pay yourself first set it and forget it put it on automatic how many people would like automatic wealth creation go ahead press the button just press the button set up your membership choose your auto save and you automatically are building wealth that's financial security right there that's exciting so another big thing about this company, one of the biggest things I'm telling you, this, this right here is a game changer. It's revolutionary, all right? And this is where I got my gold coin from, my sound money wallet. Remember I told you I was gonna talk about that? Yeah, this is my sound money wallet. It came from my sound money wallet. But the sound money wallet, think of like a PayPal, right? PayPal, little cash app, they got cash in there, right? Sending cash from one person to the next or another. Well, with this uh, uh, sound money wallet, not only can you have cash in it, but you can have gold and silver. You can convert the cash into gold and silver instantaneously. You can send that gold, silver, or cash to any member that has a sound wallet, sound money wallet instantaneously. If you got gold or silver in that sound money wallet, you can convert it back into cash. Yes, sell it and get cash. You in a pinch. Go ahead, sell it. Get cash in a matter of seconds. Put it in your bank account, right? And now also that gold or silver, like I showed you, can get delivered to your home. See, I like to hold on to mine. I, I want to feel my money. I want to hold on to it. You know, I want to know it's real. Sometimes I, I open up the safe and I touch it and I just feel the weight and I, and I play with it and I look at it. That's real money, folks. That's exciting, right? Not holding on to paper. Some people get excited about holding on to a lot of paper. That paper is a liability. It doesn't hold value, right? So that sound money wallet is next level, folks. Next level, right? And then so there's some member benefits real quick as, you know, we kind of close up the presentation part before I talk about the money, right? I think some people are like, look, man, you had me at hello. You had me at welcome. You know, you had me at the beginning. But how do I get paid? I'm going to talk about that. But some of the member benefits, residual income for a lifetime, okay? So we're talking about residual income. Remember I told you I didn't know the difference between earned income, passive income, residual income, right? Most people were taught to trade in their time for money. The wealthy do not work for money. I'm sorry. The wealthy don't work for money. Why? Because they have financial literacy. They know how to have their money work harder for them than they have to work for the money. They implement systems of leverage to build wealth. J. Paul Getty, one of the first recorded billionaires, said, I'd rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts than to rely on 100% of my own. A lot of times we're always trying to get it by ourselves. We've been taught to be this independent, self, you know, self-made all that. No, that's backwards, folks. Come together as a team. Work together as a unit and let's all get wealthy together under a system that rewards us 
for sharing with others. This is what we got with this opportunity right here, folks. So the ability to auto save, automatically build wealth, set it and forget it. They got discounts with this 7K advantage, saving your money from um, retail shops to flights and hotels and rentals, you name it, you can save your money with the discount program. The discount program they got alone will pay for your auto save and your membership over time as you continue to use it and save money. And when you balance your books and you see, well, I paid this much on my auto save this month, but I saved this much from the, from the program. So did I really pay for the auto save? Most likely not if you're using that 7K advantage. Now, you also obviously get access to these limited rare coins. We understand something. This Donald Trump coin, this is a two ounce. I showed you the one earlier, that's one ounce. There's only 2,000 of these made. Only 2,000. How many people around the world love Trump? Don't matter if they love him or not. He's the president of the United States during a pandemic and all kind of financial crisis in the midst of scandals and everything else. And we got an exclusive coin signed by Miles Sanders. I told you about Miles Sanders. And we got access to this, and it's only 2,000 of them made. What do you think the price of this coin is going to be? Right? You got access to that type of rarity. Okay? Now, 1099 right off. Right? I talked about that earlier. Business right off. Put your business cap on. Don't complain about the 1%. I never understood that, really. I never understood complaining about something that everybody has access to if they employ it. Why would I get mad at somebody who's wealthy when the tax code works for me the same way? I just need to put myself in position to leverage it like that. You got to have a home-based business. You got to be able to put yourself in a position to write things off so you don't have to pay so much in taxes, right? You, th that's a fact. You know, they talk about Warren Buffett uh, pays more than his secretary or, or his secretary pays more than whatever they're talking about. The fact is, if you're working a job, and you want to reduce what you pay in taxes, you need a home-based business like this so you can keep some of your money and acquire assets. Go back IRA, 7K healthcare program, phenomenal, okay, phenomenal. And then, of course, the ability to buy gold and silver at member direct pricing. Another member benefit is that you can get gold and silver. I'm talking about bullion now. I'm not talking about the numismatic coins. I'm talking about bullion. This bullion right here, this bullion right here, you can get this at member direct, uh, uh, dealer direct price. And what that means is they cut out the middleman. They pretty much went straight to the source. And then they just passed on the price to you. They didn't, they didn't increase it. No markup, right? So that's a benefit, dealer direct, all right? So the fact is, you see it at the bottom, are you ready to change your life? Information changes people. Information changes the world. Just from seeing this information right now tonight, you have already been changed. Your mind has probably been woken up to concepts and terms and systems that you weren't aware of before. Now the question is, what are you going to do about it? The information is only as good as you apply it. You can know everything under the sun, but if you don't apply it, it ain't no good to you, right? 